antibodies make a person immune to a disease. Immunity means that once a person becomes sick with a disease like mumps, chickenpox, or measles, she can't become sick again with the same disease. Becoming sick with a disease isn't the only way to get immunity. Vaccinations also can provide protection. A vaccine contains weakened or dead forms of a germ. These germs can't cause any harm. But even though they're harmless, they have the same antigen markers on their surface as a strong living pathogen. The body's immune system reacts as if they're dangerous by producing antibodies. The body also remembers for the future what the markers are. This means that if we are exposed to the live and powerful germs later, there will already be some protective antibodies ready to attack, and the body will be able to quickly produce more antibodies. Today, we take many vaccines against pathogens for granted, but this wasn't always true. Take the polio virus. The polio virus attacks the nervous system. Fifty years ago, there was no vaccine against this virus. In some cases, the victim's legs were seriously weakened or paralyzed. In other cases, the paralysis was more serious and affected a person's ability to breathe. Thousands of patients depended on cumbersome iron lungs to stay alive. Many people died from polio. The disease was all the more terrible because children were particularly at risk. Parents worldwide were terrified that their children would be stricken. But in 1955, Dr. Jonas Salk developed an effective vaccine. A newsreel from that time gives a sense of the joy this news brought. 1955, a year of anxiety and triumphs. A major medical hurdle was crossed with the discovery by Dr. Jonas Salk of the anti-polio vaccine, which was to spread a mantle of protection over millions of American children and the scientists entered the ranks of the medical immortals. Leading drug firms shifted into high gear to meet a national demand which spread to every crossroads despite early controversy. Each hastily set up center became a mecca for anxious parents shepherding little Johnny and little Jill to their inoculations. They're protected and it didn't hurt a bit. Today, we have effective vaccines for many diseases, including tetanus, diphtheria, smallpox, and some types of flu. Being vaccinated for these diseases is one of the most important steps a person can take to safeguard his health.